In the automotive realm, numerous companies are phasing out some of their most high-powered internal combustion offerings, but they're doing so with a bang. Brands such as Ram, TRX, Dodge, Challenger, Charger, Durango, and Ford, Raptor, and Mustang are producing their most potent internal combustion vehicles ever. Even as the future of their models remains uncertain amidst the trend towards electrification, Fortunately for enthusiasts of high-performance motorcycles, the transition to electric vehicles is proceeding at a slower pace compared to their four-wheeled counterparts. Inspiration from King of the Baggers Racing, Harley-Davidson and other manufacturers are eager to continue riding the wave of factory hot rod enthusiasm by crafting special edition motorcycles that are eagerly snapped up year after year. Celebrating its 25th anniversary, Harley's custom vehicle operations line introduces the formidable Sevia Road Glide ST, its most performance-oriented limited-edition model yet. Notably, Harley attributes the inspiration for this model directly to its involvement in the Moto America Mission King of the Baggers Championship, marking the first time that development has seamlessly transitioned from the track to the showroom. If you haven't yet witnessed a King of the Baggers race firsthand or on television, it's highly recommended to do so. In just a few years since its inception as a one-off exhibition, the series has evolved from a curious novelty into a major commercial success, featuring thrilling racing action. However, none of this would be possible without the remarkable performance exhibited by these machines. While Harley's factory race team remains tight-lipped about horsepower figures for its KTB Road Glide race bikes, the on-track performances speak volumes. For instance, at Road America last year, Vance and Heinz Hayden Gillum clocked a qualifying lap of 2 minutes and 20.834 seconds, a mere 2.6 seconds behind Stefano Mace's pole time in Supersport. Despite the significant weight, with a minimum weight limit of 620 pounds, and aerodynamic disparities, stock size touring fairing compared to 600 cubic centimeters sport bikes. This gives a glimpse into the extraordinary horsepower output of these heavily modified baggers. The unveiling of the 2024 Street Glide and Road Glide motorcycles alongside the Sevilla Road Glide ST showcases Harley-Davidson's commitment to innovation and performance. While all three models boast a plethora of updates and enhancements, the Sevilla ST stands out by pushing the boundaries of what a bagger can achieve. With a unique engine, upgraded suspension, advanced electronics, reduced weight, and distinctive Sevilla features, this model emphasizes performance over mere aesthetics, according to HDS Chief Engineer Scott Nash. Exclusive Power with Harley's 121 High Output Engine CVO enthusiasts seek exclusivity, and the CVO ST doesn't disappoint, featuring the bespoke 121 High Output Engine not shared with any other Harley models. This powerhouse, boasting a displacement of 121 CI, 1977 cubic centimeters, prioritizes maximum power delivery. Unlike the Vibe T-equipped engines found in other CVO models, the 121 HO focuses on peak performance, featuring a high-performance camshaft and an increased redline of 5,900 RPM. It claims an impressive output of 127 horsepower at 4,900 RPM and 145 pound FT of torque at 4,000 RPM. Surpassing the standard VVT-equipped 121's 115 horsepower at 4,500 RPM and 139 pound FT at 3,000 RPM. Shedding the VVT system also shaves off 2 pounds in weight. Furthermore, the 121 HO boasts a race-inspired intake that enhances airflow by 26% through its 58mm throttle body, optimizing power and torque at the expense of a broader power band. Complementing this setup are Screamin' Eagle Extreme Flow Titanium Slip-On Mufflers, engineered for maximum airflow while meeting noise and emissions regulations. Constructed with titanium shells and forged carbon fiber end caps, these mufflers prioritize weight reduction. In addition to its updated cylinder head design and 11.4 to 1 compression ratio, the HO shares the liquid-cooled cylinder heads that efficiently cool the exhaust valves. To enhance off-the-line acceleration, the final drive ratio is lowered by reducing the output pulley from 32 to 30T, compensating for the loss of low RPM output resulting from the elimination of VT. This strategic adjustment further elevates the CV Road Glide ST's performance prowess. How confident is Harley-Davidson in the genuine performance capabilities of the CV Road Glide ST, and is it more than just a stylish accessory for coffee shop display? 
To demonstrate its prowess, Harley chose the Las Vegas Motor Speedway's outside road course as the venue for the bike's press event, with seasoned factory riders Kyle Wyman and James Rispoli leading the way. It's a departure from the norm. A few years back, the idea of launching a touring bagger at a racetrack would have seemed implausible, if not laughable. However, the influence of the KTP series has reshaped perceptions. While the Road Glide ST may not be identical to the factory race bikes, Harley's meticulous attention to every aspect of its performance, from engine dynamics to chassis design and electronic rider aids, demonstrates that this CVO model isn't merely about aesthetics, it's about delivering genuine performance. Taking the 2024 CVO Road Glide Street onto the track wasn't just about straight-up lapping. It included navigating a Jim Connor style W-turn on the back straight, showcasing the bike's agility at slower speeds. Before hitting the track, riders familiarized themselves with the new rider aids, including selectable ride modes offering pre-mapped settings for power delivery, engine braking, cornering ABS, and traction control. Setting off in sport mode, the power of the engine immediately impresses. Compared to last year's 117 equipped breakout, the 121HO engine takes performance to a whole new level. While it retains the expected low-end grunt, its ability to rev towards red line sets it apart, offering a thrilling experience unmatched by any factory Harley Big Twin encountered before. Following our initial warm-up session, we transition to track mode, which offers a more assertive throttle response, disengages the link brakes from rear to front, reduces ABS intervention, and permits increased rear tire spin before intervention. Taking it a notch further, Track Plus mode completely removes the link braking system, significantly reduces ABS interference, and minimizes traction control intervention, which can also be deactivated using a button on the left handlebar. The available engine power, particularly when accelerating onto a straight, left us wishing the ST was equipped with a quick shifter, given its remarkable acceleration unmatched by any factory bagger before it. In track modes, the throttle response is sharp and vigorous, underscoring the reassurance provided by the traction control, especially considering we were riding on the bike's standard Dunlop Harley-Davidson series by Supply Blackwell tires. 130-60-19 front, 180-55-18 rear. The inclusion of modes on the ST is a welcomed enhancement. While track modes offer unleashed performance suitable for aggressive riding, whether on the street or track, we acknowledge that these settings might not be conducive to a leisurely cruise down the boulevard. Hence, the ability to toggle the mode selector on the right handlebar to a more street-friendly setting provides smoother and less abrupt engine response, catering to varied riding preferences. Having also tested the brand new Street Glide, powered by a non-VT 117CI engine, a day later, we can confidently affirm that the 121HO engine is unparalleled without resorting to a 131 or 135 crate motor. While the 117CI engine offers respectable performance with numerous aftermarket parts available, the addictive performance of the 121HO engine justifies the premium associated with CVO models.